Okay, so I'm going to show you how to use um, the, the harness that I recommend, and this is called a rabbit goo or go or whatever they like to call themselves. Um, Daisy is going to show you how to use it um, because it's not a fix all. It, you don't put the harness on and it stops your dog pulling, there is a technique to it. So, as you can see, I've got Daisy linked on the top and on the front, um, and I'm going to show you how to walk with it like this. But it's actually this front one that is the one that corrects the dog. So if you see when I pull, it makes the harness turn a little bit and also Daisy's starting to respond to it. This is the thing that is going to give you the correction. This is just control. So I'm also going to show you how to use it with just the front harness because I don't use the back one at all anymore. Now Daisy is a very, very good walker. Um, so this may not go as planned, but I'll try and show you how to do it. So first of all, as you can see, Daisy, the lead, this lead is coming out of her chest and it's coming up towards me. So we don't want it over the top like this. We want it so that it's coming out and it doesn't matter what side you're on. You can, have, you can be on either side. This actually helps you steer. So come on, Daisy. It helps you steer as well. So you can turn her around. Um, and then when we're going to walk, <laughs> we're going to try and walk. Um, I think we'll probably try and walk that way uh, and uh, I'll show you. So you actually want this one to be loose as you walk. This one could be tight, this one loose. So the point is, and as she, you walk, if she starts to pull, you pull this one. So you can see how she stops. Come on. She's pulling in front, pull this one. Stops her from pulling me. She's not pulling me now, but she is going a little bit in front. So you see how she stops every time. And what I'm doing is every time she starts to drift in front of me, I'm correcting her by pulling on this one. So you don't want it like this. I've seen people walking like this. This isn't going to work. This is actually going to make them pull. You want to have this relatively loose, this one tight. And as she's that you pull, you do this. And you want to correct every single time they pull you. And I mean every single time. So it stops them and she's slowing down now. You can see how she's slowing down. She pulled me then. Ah. There we go. So she's starting to slow down now. Her brain's kicking in that she mummy wants her to walk by her side. Beautiful. So you can also do this with just the front. You don't have to have a lap horse. Now I tend to walk like this when I've got it on a lead. This is in this hand, this is here. I want it loose first of all. She's actually going to walk nicely now. She's pulling, I've pulled her. She's walking in front. Walking in front. She's starting to get the message. Good girl, Daisy. Well done. Ah. There we go. And you see how it does send them off balance? That's absolutely fine. You actually want them to be off balance because that's what's stopping her. That from pulling me. Ah. Good girl. Now she hasn't been on a harness for a while, so that's why she's proper pulling me at the moment. But eventually, her brain is going to kick in. Good girl. Good girl. And she's going to walk nicely. So, hope that helps. Um, I'll get that sent out to as many people as I can. Thank you. Yeah, I'm trying. Okay. Good boy. Good boy, Cooper. Excellent. Show Kelly what you're doing. I hope you were doing it right. Yeah. Good boy. That's what I'm
Good girl. Good girl. Good girl. Come on then. Come. She's looking for the hot dog sausages in my pocket.